Uh, and uh, if we do do the three individual trees, they would be spread. And she's actually going to design them for this thing so that awesome. as you walk around them, you and the way they curve, you, you will get an image. You have that internal space gets defined. So, you know, we're trying to make them not just three things stuck there. So um, she's got to create um, an angle so that as you spin around, It'll look different you know, every the, you'll see not only the trees, but this, the space in between the trees becomes a space too. So working in negative space is a lot of fun. And, and um, she's pretty excited, but she basically says, I won't know exactly what happens until I get there. Uh, to do that, though, she has to get some more steel. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, these pieces go on a, if you remember, a, like a four foot circular okay. steel, 250 pound steel plate. She says she'd make the plates, um, and but it's going to cost us a little more. But she says she also doesn't really want the plates back. So she suggested that we pay for the increased plates, but if she could leave those two plates, they would become nice little uh, stands that you could screw something into and attach something to, and we can use those in the future on the bike path or, or something else. So, um, so her, um, the amount of money for this project went from 2,500 to 3,500 bucks. Where would we store those? That's a really great question. Um, I would imagine we could lean on the Board of Public Works to store them back over in the building with the mural. I'm not going to speak to the Board of Public Works. You know that. <laughs> um, well, they it's like, like the us. attic or something. It's like the attic over there. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think given the... Uh, I, I am sure that we could find some place. We won't need them until next September. They don't have to be inside, right? No, they don't have to be inside. Be and they're really, they're, by the time you're finished, it's only going to be like three inches thick and a four foot yeah, round thing fit against the wall. I mean, and where are you thinking to put these three trees? These trees will go into the place where the rocks were last year. But they would be, each one would be on a separate plate. Not right. just one Six. plate with three trees is what and you're saying, right? And yeah, mm -hmm. and they'll be spread out. And the thinking was that last piece, the last year's piece was a um, little more difficult. And um, <laughs> for people to understand. Well, for people to have fun with, and this is a really, this is an easier, friend, more uh, user-friendly piece. And we want to, we don't want to be, we're really concerned about trying to, make sure that we touch all the bases down and we try to make as many people as happy as we can, but not everybody. Yeah, and I think this, like, it does a totally different thing for the yeah. space. Yeah, right. instead so, of being great. something massive and monumental, it's lighter and airier yeah. and, mm -hmm. yeah, just more and more noticeable yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so. Karen Bravin, how are you out there? Hey, Karen. I'm good, how are you over there? Oh, uh, well, good, you look good. You're, you're, it's, this is a great setup, mm -hmm. seeing you. Um, do you have anything in particular that you wanted to um, talk to about the, the Vivian's pieces? I, I don't, in fact, I'll be honest. I mean, I've gotten to now know Vivian. I she put a small piece in the gallery. And, but you have spoken to her much more in terms of um, uh, sort of the de these details that I have. Right. I do know, however, she, you know, very much wants to, you know, make it, make it work, you know, for, for all. And she's excited by this, but I don't have more details than you're providing. All right. Well, uh, she was very amenable and her time frame is probably, um, you know, a good six months. So again, we can get this stuff in early. I, I liked last year having it in before the summer really got started. So um, could I get a motion that we go ahead and engage her for this? Cliff, I just have a question. Is there an option to maybe have the steel bases sourced locally, maybe through some scrap, like just if she could give us the dimensions and maybe go about a different way and save the money that way? I mean, just a, just a thought. Or, or to could she like spec what she wanted yeah. and have a fabricator here do maybe it? Maybe we could shape. make it out of the train bridge. <laughs> 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 I, 
I, I uh, <laughs> got a smelter out there. I, down. I hear what you're saying. I think that the thousand dollars isn't really just for the two pieces of steel. Okay. It's for her um, having to attach the and I, I'm if people don't want the um, if we don't have a place to steal it. I mean, I mean, if we have to throw them away. I can I'll find a place for them in my place. I mean, <laughs> we don't have to worry about leaving them in the park. There must be a place that can go under a bill, you know, like in the way, you know, like a Right. under a building or not uh, yeah i think that's not a problem i i um and i think that for the amount of money she's asking this is a pretty inexpensive project it just seems like a lot of money for a base it's not dollars. for the base it's also for setting up three okay. versus setting up two so there's extra labor involved and there's extra um we also have to drill the base and make sure that connection is for each sculpture is like 12 which is kind of nice yeah it's perfect. It's a foreman, so it's like two and a buck a month. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, I say. Yeah, it's actually right. really reasonable. But I always push for the artist. <laughs> no, it, it, yeah. does the park commissioner know that these are going on? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. And and, and we also had the discussion between the three and the two, and okay. and uh, I talked to Rodney, and that's been him. He's been fine with. He's fine with it. He's okay. written it off. And if I can just ask everybody to talk directly into the mic, it's hard to, to hear and to be here. So just so that people that are on Zoom and live stream can hear some of these things. Didn't you also uh, share this with Peter Issel too? Yeah. So, so um, can I get a motion that we go ahead and engage her for these pieces? So motion. Second. Second. Awesome. All approved. Yep. All right, to the end, here we come. I'll be nice. sending her a contract. Uh, next piece is the Letha Wilson piece. And, uh, that the metal and leaves. That's not cool. Karen, I'm coming up to your big city next week. Oh, you are? Yes, yes, on Thursday till Monday. This is one day. Thursday through Monday. Oh, Thursday through Monday. Okay, on this piece is um, uh, the piece that mm -hmm. I saw in New York. I saw the whole show actually, and. Uh, and it was like so, 20 pieces. Uh, um, in, this, in this piece, and, and Letha's, um, she's been in France, so she's a little bit hard to get up with. But at this point, it's almost the same kind of deal. Like the transportation is the major expense. And it's like 1600 bucks both ways. And um, we have to come up with a concrete pad to sit it on. Mm -hmm. and we have miscellaneous supplies. Now, to do this piece, and also under that twenty five hundred bucks uh, for for Victor, we we have to install some, we have to provide some manpower, and uh, so the manpower for for this one is a little more. It's like three people for three hours, uh, and two people for three hours to take it down. Um, we discussed this at the last meeting that we have to come up with our own crew and I was going to try to talk to somebody from high school to get the maybe our ROTC kids or um, somebody we need well, so we need, we need some uh, we need to find a uh, well, we need to find some people who don't have to be high school students. Candy, Andy, and we, we and, or like and I mean, real at least movers, not not yeah, like birding professional art birding handlers, handlers, but yeah, well, because, because, um, and I, think I also talked to, to I also talked to Andy, Andy, and they can do it too. And, oh, okay, um, great. So we, you know, we're, and I was like thinking Tommy Angle, who does a lot of work around here. He has guys who can help. Mm. He might be a good one, but I think we should. I, just what we what we were trying to do from a liability standpoint as well as that's a nightmare. Well, when I talked to the handy Andy, it's like I, I think that what we try to want to we'd like to be able to find the same three people to come right. back over and over and they start to learn about art handling some of the do's and don'ts and you know 
like in you know certain surfaces you don't touch or you have to be aware of what you do and how you plan for it so anyway i just this is for the budget purposes at this point is that you know we have to come up with uh, i was figuring 45 dollars an hour anyway uh and so she's actually going to be uh this is a 5400 project of which um you know we'll be responsible for the concrete pad and we are responsible for the um for the helping with the installer so the artist is getting very little out of this transportation and uh, about a thousand bucks um there was a discussion about uh, a, a new site that barry and i came up with um, and um, i lost you uh there's the you froze you're you're coming in loud and clear. <laughs> uh, so the the site that we looked at, uh, which we're, we're going to try to explore, I, I talked with Janet. Um, right here behind the this building, uh, there's a little jog in the uh, bike path. Oh, cool! And in that little jog of the bike path, it's like it's like this side of the of the spare railroad tracks where the pieces railroad cars may go in a year or two it's way down from where the they're going to build the uh I, I talked to the people about the um the idea of uh of the the building they're going to do for the railway museum kind of thing whatever you call it and that's going to be further up but this would just be for the summer and it's a pretty interesting spot uh does everybody know it because you walk the path you've done the bike path can you, you see it from the road the station right. or more towards yeah, the town it's, it's, um, so that'd be nice uh, off see the it corner from the road, of this building yeah. really? it's really almost off the corner of this building so the, the bike path it comes down and then uh you know where the gravel shifted um, it does this little little quirky turn and it yeah. makes us like a little s thing and i think they're going to try and get rid of it but right now it's it's open space belongs to the um for um department of transportation and but if you were sitting in the park watching a concert you'd be able to see the piece you can sit in the library the new library you'd be able to see the piece everybody in the bike path would be able to see the piece and from the car you could actually see the piece from um the highway, right? Are we clear though on like the uh, MOU? At least from if it's Del Dot, uh, we have to call and get Del Dot's approval. Yeah, because I think there's with the train people, I think there's going to be a change in the. I, I yeah. That, okay. That, that so you, that's part of your thought. Pro that's part of your plan anyway. Yeah, and and we're just talking about this summer. I don't think the train people are going to be there this summer. But it still requires um, their an approval. Agreement with Del Dot, Del right? And it's it's their right of way. I you know putting the concrete pad in there is going to be permanent. No, you can take it out. We can take it out. It's not just. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a. Uh, if you put the concrete pad down, it easily comes out. You just have to pay money for it. <laughs> so um, well, we should have an alternate. Something else we, to store. Yeah. So the alternate. I was going to say the alternate site is over in the. Um, the only other old cement site that we came up with was HP uh, Smith Park. Where the other one was? Where the tall one was. Where and the, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Where the where the uh, where, um, was. where oh, FOSS okay. was. Okay. And we talked to the park, and the park uh, uh, one of the park supervisors was uh inclined to really want it there and he was suggesting that he would come up with the money for the concrete slab if we put it over in that park and then we could put something else there if we wanted next year I like that. but nice. um, so um so i think that's a good backup although this is pretty ideal for this particular piece if we go, how about if we, the idea that we go so you know the property that's because this is an existing concrete pad um on jefferson i think mrs lowe may own the property uh has a green uh, kind of garage set set in the back of the property and in the front there there's a there's a couple of different concrete slabs actually where's this you know what i'm talking about on jefferson. 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 oh on where the, old, the old store was yeah 
the old general store. And it might be a cool sort of, and if it's temporary, you know. Across from the laundry, the old laundry. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing there. I mean, it's, yeah, exactly. I used to walk my dog there. It's not a, that's what I mean. It's kind of outside the box, but it, it's, I like outside the box. It's almost, a, I mean, it's an open space. It's underutilized. It's open. And, it's been like that for, and there's existing concrete slabs. Years, at least. There sure are. And, and you can see it from coming yeah. down the, the road and then coming from the side. And she yeah. might be open to it. You know. She's, she's to inclined her. to the arts. Who's going to talk to her? Look at me. I mean, I guess I can call her. Do you know her? Hi, Grace. I know her. Yes, I used to I live across the street from her, so I know her. I'll call Grace. I was wondering why that Cliff, do you know the property? Lake, I you know, it's got some beautiful old yeah. trree. I mean, they're not well, like, tended trees, but they're beautiful old trees, and it's just uh, shady. It would actually be. have a store I, back there. Was it the, in the day? It was... Um, Andrew, I actually don't want to have to go over and look. I mean, okay. as soon as I get there, I'll yeah, you'll be like, oh yeah, I'm and sure. it's, there's only one vacant lot on. This yeah, one. exactly. I, I mean, that's. It's, I think it's and, and Coleman. Coleman comes out there. Or... Yeah, it's, right. It's where, where Jefferson and, and Kings yeah. meet. Um, we'll go there after right after. This. It's very right close. The old laundry yeah. right across yeah. the street. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all swirling around here. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure I walked by it a thousand times, but um, so. I guess the point is I want to give her the okay that we want this piece. She's going to have to have it moved from its storage now down to someplace in New York City where she will pick it up. Um, and is again, this the piece that was in this the is show the exact Karen... same piece. Okay, cool. Very cool. And uh, so uh, I guess I, 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 so I, well, first of all, I'd like to go ahead and get approval to commission this one. Now we have three and, possible and, and site to be determined. Yeah, we have three possible sites now. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And um, it's gonna give too many sites. Can I have a motion to accept it? I move. Anybody second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So that one's done. So that one was clocking in at oh, about fifty five hundred bucks. Um, then we have Rose DeCiano. Have you talked to her recently, uh, Karen? Um, she came to my gallery opening, but we did not discuss the piece because I sort of knew you were talking to her and I didn't know where you were and I didn't want to, you know, step in. Okay, fair enough. Well, uh, she was really amicable. Um, she corrected me. What we approved last time was the two of the two of the obelisks and one of the spheres. And she said, no, actually, this particular piece has two spheres. And that price was for two spheres and two obelisks. Nice. So um, we did meet with um, the uh, African American Heritage Commission. And we discussed um, various um, things for the two spheres. Uh, I didn't realize that two spheres. Wow. And uh, Barry and I, in our travels, thought that the two spheres, if being guided by the, um, uh, you know, our African American cultural area of near HP Park on the other side, near, near Park Avenue. Um, we came, one of them we were thinking about putting sort of right at the end as you look down. It's, a, it's not Park Next, Park. next sort of next to the uh, pollinator garden on the oh, other yeah. side of the trees. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But you'd be able to see it from a, from a car driving to the park. Down park um, and the other one would be maybe what? 25 yards away mm -hmm. at a can not lined up in the category, but the two of them would speak to each other. Um, we, and I think that would be nice because that's also what we're going to kind of memorize, memorize, mem uh, memorialize with them. Um, she's, we have a meeting Thursday at oh, tomorrow at two uh, with um, Deacon. Uh, Deacon um, Deacon, uh, uh, Bishop, Bishop Jones, he was Bishop Jones and um, Trina. Uh, I think Trina's on now. 
Yeah. All right, yeah. Hi, yeah. Trina. Hi, Trina. Uh, we're going to meet with uh, them tomorrow at two o'clock at the archives. The Historical Society has opened up their archives to us, and they have. We're going to be going through the features that will be used on the two spheres, and so um, Trina and Bishop will. Um, be looking for the images that we're going to use and you can see from these these pictures it's um we're hoping to get people and we're hoping to get um events more so than buildings but we'll see what we get and what they have Cliff, and we'll work from will you will you document will you will, will you document just with your iphone or whatever going through the archives i think that's a that's great idea just yeah. great you know a great part of it all right i gotta Don't forget okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, Trina, you. can't wear your sweats tomorrow. <laughs> so if you have a picture of the spherical one. Yeah. Can I show that? Yeah, are there any, yeah I don't Yeah, are there any images that the better you're able to throw for the I don't have that. Justice, I, I, I saw it's it. It's really I cool. Don't, I don't remember it well enough. So we're doing two boxes. Um, so, I mean, and all that stuff's available. Obelisk online. also? All right, so the obelisks, now this is a, the obelisks uh, that we're gonna get, um, we were looking to memorialize open space, which is, you know, dwindling. Which, which is dwindling. Um, but we have to look and see if we've got the kind of pictures. Yeah. She was okay. thinking about, um, uh, Denise was thinking about um, looking at uh, postcards. They have the great postcard mm -hmm. collection from downtown. And we could put postcards on the bottom of this. Uh, these spheres are all, um, these obelisks are about 12 feet tall and they're shiny. And then you just have these, um, they, they sort of look like uh, Delph, they look like Dutch tile around the bottom. And they take a photograph that we give them and use that to print on the tile. So it looks like it's old, but it will be particular to Lewis. Now, we had met, we, we, as of right now, the best place we find for them is, he, is here in the, um, is uh, uh, by the- um, Swan and Deal. Swan and Deal. You wanna describe that? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, there's a sign there that has uh, 1631 at the top in it. Uh, there's some commentary, but there's space on either side of. <laughs> I got some bad news there. Yeah. There's going to be a. Del, Del Dot is going to put a bench on some section or like a metal bench for that bus stop there. So on one, I think the side. <laughs> closer to the museum itself as you're looking on the sidewalk or on the on the grass in the in our park on their land or in their land or, our, or the city land because it's going to be on city land because that's that's why we went with the bench because we our mindset was if we said no to at least this bench they would just move down 10 feet to the state-owned land and put in a full-on bus stop mm -hmm. oh, so wow. good 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 move Thank we you. went with the bench we went with the black bench so who did you, yeah. this is a Del Dot person? It's their, their I, initiative I, I, because they say, they claim that it's one of the heavier trafficked bus stops in the route. Okay, Good. maybe we can ask yeah. them to, by the way, while we're helping you there, maybe you can help us out with this other site. What yeah. about right across from Heirloom behind that little building? There's that like picnic table back there. It's not a very well, you know, Heirloom and then Swanadale and then there's that gift shop but right behind it there's a little it's not a lot of land so it might not be good for this but oh it's tucked back off yeah. the third street i think the problem though is that they have the that was the craft fair scout there product. right mm. yeah i, I they, grabbed they the they sign they kind of fill up the whole area there with no but this would be over. behind the gift shop well, one of the one of the um, historical society property okay i know okay i, know, I think that I know is what uh, uh one of the backup the, ideas so we had but, libby's on <laughs> one of the backups that we had for locating these was on the was on the library property mm. and the park around here like on at, at this which you know we could we haven't talked to anybody on that committee um 
but uh, these, I mean, these have a very small footprint. And uh, what about the front design down this You know, kind of flanking the the front door. Uh, that's the state property. Yeah, that's the thing. It's all yeah. there. So we went down. We went down and looked like the, you know, they have the little corner piece, and then the park is sort of like a hand shape that goes around it, and. Um, it, it's just too crowded in that park. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you've got so mm -hmm. much junk and I mean, I don't mean junk, but <laughs> careful. between the bathrooms and the fountains and the benches and the flowers and all the signs about who did what. And it, and that, I mean, is never the same once they put that Fisher Martin house in there. It used to be really, you know. Well, but, I, think, I think the challenge also is we want it to be fairly visible because it's going to be a pretty important and, you know, impressive piece of art that will not only be art, but will also um, be historical and also, you know, address African-American history and everything. So I, I think that's what the challenge is in, in locating a piece mm -hmm. like this. Well, the yeah, and it needs a little space too. Well, I think the two, the, the two, I, I think we're in good shape with the spheres. It's the obelisks. And I mean, if we can find references to a lot of postcards of Second Street, maybe we could put them someplace closer to Second Street. I mean, I could. I, I still think just put it where the, the real is. Where, uh, oh, oh <laughs> it's temporary. It's not permanent. By the time they complain about it, it. Be down. Well, it's hard to do that because of the fence. You yeah, can't really, it's not accessible. And what about, um, that was actually the very first place we called. What about having the spheres here and the um, obelisks behind where we had the effervescence? I think that, um, I mean, having all of that in that park. I mean, that's have, have one art them. in that park. And then you oh, kind of see this piece, but then you see that you can't say it together. And, and put the, the, the other one over here. The other one. If we can put over here. I kind of yeah. like the idea of having the obelisks in town, though. There's just mm -hmm. some kind of connection there that, and the shape of them. I think well, having them out in the park. It, what about in the canal front park? Is there any other space that would work for them? There's so much. Well, stuff I, I, in the I, I, there's some. Yeah, it's yeah, like the so parks much. are so crowded. Um, I don't know if we could find a corner of the 1812 park. But I think what yeah. we have to do, does anyone want to join me Thursday afternoon going through the archives, looking at the photographs that we're going to put on here? What time are you doing that? That's at two. Uh, I can't do it tomorrow. No, I can't. I do too. I'm sorry. Well, I'll see what we come up with. And maybe that will instill some ideas. And what we might do is I mean, I might call out and say, I'm gonna be walking, looking for more sites and see who can join us. But we did a pretty good, I mean, we did a pretty good look. We even looked at places that didn't make sense. Like, the, Can I ask a question, please? Um, who owns the land where Freeman Highway and the beach road, the road to the ferry meet? There's that surf shop on the left corner. And on the right side, there's just a big open space. And I, every time I take the ferry, I think that would be some, something there would be great as sort of not a welcome to Lewis, but just a space as people are coming in. To see from their car. Yeah, to see, to drive by, or if you were riding your bike, you'd see it. I think that might have been the original idea behind the uh, sculpture that the- uh, Yeah, the DRBA, the I think. Art and Bloom was doing. I think was the, the DRBA owns that. But I wonder, I wonder if, if they'd be amenable to having something. I just think- uh, Well, I'm not sure that, I think this piece do totally is pedestrian. Um, I'm thinking of another, I guess I'm thinking of the tree, the second one. What if they don't, split. again, if there's going to be issues with the train bridge, uh, what about where the, that spot there? Near, I, was, I was just thinking of that. Yeah, that gets, um, you know, where the American Legion Road is. That'd be great. Even if they but did well, put it there, you know, it's kind of, there's another, there's more, there's also other areas around there. Or as a reason to have people to go down to the end of that 
trail there. What about, right. what about really where they're taking down the on that point? Yeah, that's true. A, a chance to reflect there. Yeah. What so, about where they're taking the bridge out? That's, that's yeah. That's same, empty same spot. Empty spot there too. Empty spot. When that's gone, it, it's the end of the road. Now that might also, I don't know who who, who controls that area. That, that might be Del Dot's purview. Del Dot. I don't know. Yeah, Del Dot has, has the train tracks, anything that's Although tracks we're responsible for maintaining the trail. So is that part of the trail now? I, I know for sure the area that the bridge was going to is going to go is city owned because we had signed the MOU so that they could put it there. Yeah. That might be okay. Well, I want to uh, the way I would want to take this forward is a I got to look at pictures, and we have to walk around town and come up with some more sites. I really want to look at the site on Jefferson Street. And again, it's part she owns. It's, 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 it's a it's a Decker Park because it's not public. <laughs> Well, if, if if Lita's piece goes there, then we have a lot more options on where we can put the. Yeah, I think like they would look cool over here too. But the two the two uh, mm -hmm. olives would look good here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not as much of a traffic, but. And I don't know what the library. What's the library park situation? How big a space do they carry in the city? This park. I know the and the, that's can you would you would want to speak with Candace Fasella about that she would be the right. one to know about. Well, the, I thought that yeah. was Chris Beshi's and her. Yeah, the two of them kind of manage it together. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forget which who's. Those oh, could you ask Chris if she'd be amenable to thinking about? Um, yeah, maybe she has some ideas. Of where I forget how they bifurcated, oh. but they. they I'll give you the. Them. I'll give you the sheet. I can't talk to my eagles. No. Hello, John. No. Hey, Cliff. Hello. Hello, John. I got two words for you. That's okay, John. How can you hold on? They Mark have to keep nice. Let's hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I'll give this to you, and you can take it to her. All right. So we need to we need the spaces for those. So, but is everybody a good idea with the concept? Yes. Yeah. Right. Can I get a motion on this? I move that we move forward with the spheres and the All right. location to be determined. Obelisk. Obelisk. All right. Second. Great. I'll second. All in favor. Another area, with one another idea that's coming up is you know where the new uh, the new yeah, brewery is going. Uh huh. That oh. little triangle of land, I guess, between the bike path and where the actual brewery is. I don't know if they own or that city actually owns that. On I thought Del Dot. I think little triangle Del Dot, man. Yeah. yeah, but that might be a spot to put something. But is that Del? It's Del Dot, isn't it? Not yeah. City. That's something that's coming. Because we actually got Del Dot approval to put a flag project there once yeah. in their very first year. So that's we another area that gets a lot of traffic. People would stop. You know, I might give people reason to stop there. Okay. <laughs> Zoom by. I don't uh, know what piece would go there for right now, but at some point. All right. So we basically um, we're thinking Jefferson, the new brewery space, you know, by the library, maybe as a space to explore. What was the other place we need to explore that we hadn't? I mean, heck, the, the brewery themselves um, might be interested in having something yeah, as a piece yeah. to just have the people hang out and check it out. And what about the place with the bridge? Oh, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. That could be really cool too. That could be really Especially cool. for the ops. They'd be shining in the sun across the canal from drawing people down there. Yeah, it'd be cool to see from a boat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then be like, yeah. oh, I want to stop and walk down there and see what those do, things Do we are. have an idea what's going to, what's happening with that? And no, I didn't see anybody make reference to the fact that it took them three or four tries to knock down Look, the fisher. Del Dot, uh, uh, you know, the Del Dot and the bridge uh, train group. <laughs> City has nothing to do. Yeah. Oh yeah. We have a right. motion and a second. And okay. can we have a vote, please? Hi. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. Glad somebody keeps us straight. Uh, we lost Karen and uh, I'm here. Wait, I'm here. <laughs> okay. There she is. So uh so we're good on all three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and just are you scattering them like everybody installs at a different time? Uh well we have the uh, hopefully no all on the same day. Well actually here's <laughs> no, here's the here's the next order of business is we're gonna have a 
each one of these projects is going to have its own captain on our committee. And um, so rather than all of us handling all the details of each one, we have three projects now. And um, I have need of captains. Cap we have some vacant captaincies. Um, <laughs> And uh, I'm not sure how it's going to flow, but um, I have some ideas. Um, I'll captain the trees in the canal front. You want the trees? Sure. Great. Barry? I'll take the um, Aletha one since I'm familiar with that. And Tony's not. What, what, Tony's not. Aletha Wilson. So. <laughs> that's a Aletha. That's a natural. <laughs> I take one or both of the. I'll take this. so so you the absent monuments. Or you want to take the um, the spheres, and I'll take the or I'll, yeah, you take yeah, the spheres. I'll take the obelisks and location oh, to be sure. determined. Or you want to take the spheres? Mm -hmm. Good, you're coming Tuesday at two o'clock. <laughs> I can't. No, that's tomorrow. You said uh, no. Thursday tomorrow. Two o'clock. Tomorrow. We'll see. You oh, I, I I I can't. Well, yeah. I already have another meeting at that time. We'll cancel it. <laughs> You're the captain. <laughs> All right. I will um, cover for you. Good. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be training these sheets over and, and I'm each, each one of you individually. And uh, I've talked to all the artists, they're really sweet. And um, um, I actually lived with Lisa for six weeks. Nice. And she was a residency at our art thing. Um, did we decide what the um, images on, not the spheres, but the other one are gonna be? Uh, we, those were gonna be open card? space. Oh, I know, but how are we gonna get those images? Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna be look, I'm gonna be looking at those. I, we've delegated the, the African-American spheres to the, to the- The uh, committee. Right, and and I we don't and and the theme for the the other two the obelisk was open space. That's why throwing them all together in the park would be a little confusing. We might have to do like four subject matters. Uh, we're going to see what's out there. Not a, you know the open space besides besides the idea of the image of open space, and I know there's four images per obelisk, but it could be like an old map. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. that, that's a right. cool idea. Yeah, too. that's yeah. We have, uh, and that's exactly one of the, yeah. Because we've got, and if if it's downtown Lewis, we're looking for those maps that showed farms on Second Street. Right. And and that's what we wanted right. to try and give the idea that Lewis wasn't always congested and overbuilt. <laughs> <laughs> try living in Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> I think that. Uh, it could be fun, um, and if we don't have the right material, we can we can ad adapt it. But we could also ask the community if they have any images of Lewis. I'm not. I don't. I don't. I think that it absolutely this, not. We're using yeah. LHS, right? They have. Yeah. She needs three months. She needs three months leeway to have to, to have these things produced, and so she only needs like eight pictures. Well, and if, to, if we wanted to do a community, we, I mean, I could put a cl claim out there, but I. Well, I'm just saying, if you don't find what you want, yeah, yeah, there may just, be another way. We could oh, ask yeah. on our Instagram and see right. if anybody had like right. images. Oh, we need a buy. Yeah, because we have like boxes of images. Yeah, in my yeah house. Mike DePaulo right. might be another person. They have, they have a they have a lot of they have a lot they of have images a lot. upstairs okay. too. So Do we have an good. idea of dates for installation of each of these yet? <laughs> or just um, ballpark? Yeah, the kitchen which month? Month? often ones so we can work backwards what from that. Used to be. Oh yeah. You know, those mm -hmm. retro pictures they want in the paper. Right, and and we have sources. We have the sources of all of that. I mean, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot. There's a lot, yeah. a lot of work stuff to look at. I think that um, dates. Everything at this point is the is to be up by the end of May. Met and maybe some things should be up by the end of April. And I think the tear down dates. Uh, like we did last year, uh, the middle of September worked out pretty well. And uh, each artist will be coordinating with its own captain to work on those dates. And, um, and if they all come in the same weekend, so be it. Uh, I don't think no, that no. they will. Uh, that won't happen. No, we'll, no. But I know that we'll the, the, 
The obelisks and the and this is she's going to come down for one night to install these. Yeah. Uh, Lisa will probably stay a little longer because you know we might want to see her. Um, and I don't know about um, uh, uh, Vivian, but I don't think that tree install is going to be that long. But I think we we should offer to put the people up and you know buy them a meal. Well, and it's least. nice if we could you know at least talk to them because it's so great to be able to take the information they give. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. Well, I think I told each one of them when I first spoke to them that you guys would put them up. So yeah, yeah, we will. <laughs> so somewhere that that's already been said. Yeah. It'd also, be nice if, and I think somebody at the community <laughs> public meeting um, asked about an artist meet meet and greet right, artist right. with at the sculpture, you know, once it's installed. So if if we have enough time and everybody's not too burned out to do that, right. just. Um, at the time that she was here, here. here. It's a nice PR option, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be like yeah. an yeah. unveiling yeah. almost. Well, that, artist. Right, right. That, I'd be happy be... to put up yeah. artists. That, that's, I mean, that's sweet. It's a little difficult um, to organize it if they change their arrival dates based on weather um, right. and yeah. they only stay in one night. Mm -hmm. But um, I like the idea that when we have the takedown, that they, we have the the artists talk about it. We saw mm -hmm. it, and that was a really that, that meeting was so fantastic, and it coincided with her removing something. Mm -hmm. um, we also got chastised at that meeting for not doing our educational. So we are going to be looking for somebody to help us next year with our educational um, in, in, instead of moving forward, looking for an educator or an or a person that designs educational systems that can keep us moving. We talked about maybe doing the Friday night, first Friday, mm -hmm. which is kind of a statewide or mm -hmm. tradition. Art talk, is kind of, yeah. Art, yeah. Art wall, art talk and, and walk uh, or walk and talk. So we might, you know, we might, we might be leaning towards be that. To first Friday. But yeah. we need to get, yeah. we need yeah. to become trained as docents so we can talk about it. Yeah. So the, thing that the bike it. committee talked about was putting, um, they have a, a paper map, but they were talking about going to like an app and making it. And uh, we talked about the fact that it's an art and where we're placing art might be an opportunity for the two committees to collaborate and mm. have that be part of a, a tour. Of that. True. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. we, put we put our little map on and said, Here's, you can bike it in nine minutes on our website, but I didn't coordinate with you guys. Yeah. That was, I a, think that's some that learning for good. both committees. We're, saying, we're learning as we go that. A lot of these committees can, and you're doing it with African American Heritage, for example, is coordinating with how the committees can actually work together. That's great. Cool. Um, anything else anybody wants to bring up? Uh, I think all this is wonderful. Uh, what's it going to cost? <laughs> we well, talked about that. You know, just no, it's on. It's on each paper. Who's captain? Oh, you have to make two of these. And so, so we basically have how much. Do we have to raise and well in kind we, stuff we can spend money or, or uh, installation stuff we can spend money on well um we have uh we talked about this a little bit we, we're going to spread to we didn't spend all our money in 2021 and, the, and it's april so oh great we will be able to to we're, we're not going to run out of um, uh, of money because we we're not spending that much. We're having, I got 5,400 bucks, 3,500 bucks, and 5,400 bucks. Oh, yeah. So, what do um, you do, man? Of the, if we get the concrete pad donated, that, that drops. Um, but that's about 13, that's final, $14,000. 14, yeah. 14, four. And I would imagine that it would be more like five. We have, five left in this year's budget and 10 and that. And I've actually received, since the last meeting, we've received offers for funding for next year's projects. Great. Wow. Unsolicited. Nice. That's that wow. That we're awesome. doing. And so we have 10 for next year, not six. And 10 what? We have 10 for next year, not six. Uh, no, we had eight. we had 13. We had eight, and I think we had 8,500, and then it got bumped to 13.5. Oh, nice. Great. The city was very generous. That is very Thank generous. You. you guys were. I mean, they really stepped up, and that's why we were able to pull that off. It was really nice. 
Hey, can I say something? I don't know what you did before, but now that you have three pieces possibly happening mm -hmm. and you make a, like a, a invitation, like a, just like a gallery announcement and that you list it, you, if you, could you have something that lists funders or sponsors on it that would like, just get people like, Oh, I really want to be on that next year or whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Great, great idea. Um, actually, I mean, it, should... it will cost you nothing, you know, like a little, like a right. postcard, maybe a folding card, maybe a straight card, nothing, you know, like an uh, announcement almost of the, yeah. the cards that you guys made for that, for the show were just fabulous and mm -hmm. scooped up everywhere. And we could do that same kind of card, and just leave it around. Here's the summer's people and the donate. And we also ought to thank the donators from last year who we didn't. Right. Or we yeah, we probably should send like. I mean, I I always say thanks, but and it, we don't put it out. Nothing. Ad. Nothing is as good as like seeing their name in print. That's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. it depends. Look how quickly they raised money for that. All right, Cliff. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Barry, Bye. I, I, if you're in the city, you should come to the gallery. I'll 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 email you. Okay. Great. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Um, if you're talking about using funds from the current fiscal year, just when you're thinking of your timing of these projects, that would have to be invoiced before March 31st of 2022. Right. I understand. So that's going to go into the timing of when the pieces are placed. Can, right. We got that. Yeah. I could, and I actually, maybe we could get a detail of where we stand on how much we've spent. Yeah. Because I don't have that. Okay. I can get that for you. Thank you. Anybody else? Please. Can you just, do you mind coming to the mic just so we can capture it? Yeah. Yeah, and just could you just um, tell us your name and where, where you live? Uh, my name is Vincent Griscavage. I live on Clay Road in Lewis. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up that wouldn't cost anything. Uh, there is a project called Art on the Fence in Hawaii. It's at the zoo. Um, it's, a, uh, they, it's for local artists. And in order to show, you have to work there. And this would be something that we could do here for local artists. I would, the, the, before they started doing all the work at the school, the H.B. Smith Park, walking to the farmer's market would be a great place for people to hang work on the fence. Um, I was involved in Artomatic years ago in Washington DC, which was an open, uh, an, uh, an open show and they would get decommissioned buildings and fill them up with art before they tore them down. And something like this, there aren't many places for people to get shown. You're either gonna go to the art league and, the, and there's a, the DC, the uh, collaborate, Dewey, whatever they're yeah, <laughs> developing yeah. collaboration arts, right, right. but it would be an interesting to, thing to consider pr for promoting local artists as well. And apparently it was, it, it got to be a really big thing that people, people would go to uh, the, and so it could be another avenue for attraction, something for the committee to consider. Thank how, you. How long do the, do you, the artists typically ha keep their pieces up there? Is it like for a couple of weeks? Or no, how does no, you, you show Same up, thing. you do it Just for the day, day, take it down. Okay. Uh, the only thing I was thinking about that's, and some people might really remember this from their local show, is that you need to have uh, you probably want to have restroom facilities. If somebody's going to be there, I don't, I don't, I know that when they do the farmer's market, they're close to the school yeah. and they have, but mm -hmm. if people are being there for four hours, you probably you're looking at a porta can. And I only see doing it on a weekend when there's a lot of traffic. Well, they have the porta potties there from the farmer's, yeah, for the yeah. farmer's market. Yeah. Right there. That's a good idea. 
That's Agreed. pretty cool. Yeah. Thank well, you. Let's, let's talk about that at our next meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, can, can, can you give us your contact information? Sure. Thank you. Are you looking to captain this? You got a new captain. <laughs> <laughs> captain. We have a captain. <laughs> we have a captain. All right. Chuck? <laughs> you are. <laughs> Good for you. All right. Anybody else? Anything? We're under our hour time limit. Good job. Janet? All right. I have a motion to adjourn. Move that we adjourn. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Take any notes. Merry Christmas. Are you ready for Christmas?